Chain Gang. Their thrill-seeking got them in trouble with the law, and that is tonight's top story. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us. St. Paul police raced to the high bridge last night after hearing somebody was ready to jump. Somebody was ready to jump, but it was not a suicide attempt. It was a so-called adrenaline gang playing a dangerous game of daredevil. As Lou Harbin reports, these thrill-seekers say it's just the way they want to live. If you think the only people who would jump off the high bridge in St. Paul are suicidal or intoxicated, think again. You're looking at a small group of daredevils never written about in the Twin Cities. They call themselves the Adrenaline Gang. So you're looking down at about 160 feet, hanging out of these little ropes, and you scoot off the edge and you go, and you free fall about 70 feet. Right down here, free fall, and then the ropes catch after about 70 feet, and then you swing like that. Greg Cornea is one of the originators, a U of M civil engineering student who actually takes this jumping stuff quite seriously. Safety, he says, is always his number one concern. Take a look at some of their home video showing other jumps they've made in the Twin Cities. Here, the group is at the Mendota Bridge. And don't call this bungee jumping. This doesn't call for an elastic cord. The main acceleration is the, uh, the speed that you go across the ground, which is like 62 miles an hour being about 33 or 30 feet off the ground is, is very exciting. It's a long way up and a long way down, 185 feet to be exact. That is why St. Paul police tonight are asking that we give you one of those don't try this at home speeches. Folks, don't try this at home or on any bridge around the Twin Cities. Technically, it's against the law to just jump off a bridge, disorderly conduct. So in the meantime, it's best to leave this up to the adrenaline gang. Look around the Twin Cities. They say you just might find them hanging around. Lou Harvin, Channel 5 Eyewitness News. And incidentally, the group didn't actually get to jump last night. Police stopped them before they got started. Six people were given tickets for disorderly conduct. Adrenaline gang members say they'll challenge those tickets in court.